TitleMatchNetwork.com. Uh, Dan was a good guy. I wrote more with Dan, Danny Spivey, than I did with Sid. You know, Sid, he just had this attitude. He knew he was always mad about something. I don't know, but me and Danny rode together most of the time, and Danny was real quiet. Me and him got along, and uh, we'd always stop and, you know, train. I, I, I worked out a lot harder then than I do now, but I, I just enjoyed Sid, I mean, uh, Danny a lot better than Sid. Oh, I remember one time, here's a story. Yeah. <laughs> me and Sid, we are riding. This is why I stopped riding with Sid. We were, I was riding with Sid. I forget where we were. It was up around Virginia or somewhere. But anyway, we're going down the hill here. You know, Sid, that Sid's just flying in the car. He's always bad about that speeding. So we get pulled over. So the cop comes and talks to him about the speeding, and he's trying to convince this cop that he was not speeding, that the only reason the car was going fast is because we were going down the hill. Now he's trying to insult the police's intelligence. So they're getting all mad. So I'm thinking I'm going to jail on the count of him. So we finally got out of that and I, I never rode with him anymore. <laughs> Smart decision. Yeah. You, I you, think they, they didn't, they, they weren't too fond of Sid and Danny. <laughs> maybe they didn't respect him. Well, maybe not. Yeah. But that that's where the, we had the big fight that time in uh, Corpus Christi, where I think they, they had a real big fight there with Danny and maybe, maybe. I don't might have been animal, might have been animal, but they went at it for a minute. But we was in Corpus Christi. I never forget that. What was at, it over? Was it over the finish or just, uh, just some happened? Man. I don't know what happened. In the but, match. Or, in the okay. match. Okay. Right in the match. Next thing I know, they were just beating the shit out of each other, brother. So back then, it, it you know it it, it 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 was rough. You you had to you had to prove yourself. And when you stepped into that ring, you better be ready. If, if with some guys, some guys you didn't have no problem, but some guys didn't play. Man, they were all strictly business. It was Steve Doctor Dell Williams? Yeah, it's so vicious. They started a little program there, and then it ended really quickly. Well, I don't remember why it ended, but <laughs> I can imagine it was probably because of Sid Doc. I knew him real well. Uh, Steve Williams. He was he he was a nice guy, man, real nice guy, and he didn't have no problem doing anything. And I think that Sid had an attitude problem. You know, he was always, you know, something complaining about everything, you know? So Doc was a guy that was a business guy. You know, if we're going we're gonna to do this, we're going to do this, you know? But Sid, he had to argue about this or he had to, you know, it had to be his way. Yeah. Then Sid got hurt and he was unable to compete in the uh, Ironman. I think, do you remember the team tournament in Stark 89, the tag team tournament? Yeah, where Sid broke his ankle yeah. or something where he jumped off the second rope. Yeah. What, what, How do you do that? <laughs> What, any idea what the original plans were of that tournament if Sid never got hurt or would it pretty much have gone as planned? I think it would have just probably gone as planned. I don't, you know, back then I didn't have no really insight on really what, you know, what the, what was going down or what was going to come out of anything. TitleMatchNetwork.com